This video provides instructions on how to thaw and plate BioIVT's cryoplatable hepatocytes. When handling primary cells, use aseptic sterile techniques. First, review the instructions for use guide for the hepatocytes, then gather the necessary materials and equipment. Instructions for use guides can be found on bioivt.com in the resources tab for each hepatocyte product. Place in vitro grow CP medium into a 37 degrees Celsius water bath for at least 30 minutes. Add the 5.5 milliliter vial of torpedo antibiotic mix to the 250 milliliter bottle of in vitro grow CP medium. The medium has a shelf life of one week when stored at four degrees Celsius. Using a serological pipette, take 48 milliliters of the in vitro grow HT medium and add it to a sterile 50 milliliter conical tube and place the tube in the water bath to maintain its temperature. Take a vial of human cryoplatable hepatocytes from the doer and gently loosen the cap to release the pressure. Then retighten the cap. Place the vial in the cryovial rack set in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath. Maintain the vial in the water bath for approximately 90 seconds to thaw the hepatocytes. The vial should be swirled gently in the water bath and inverted several times. Once the frozen cell pellet releases from the vial wall, the cells are ready. Take the cryovial and the conical tube with 5 milliliters of completed medium to a biosafety hood to maintain sterility. Pour the vial of cells into the 50 milliliter conical tube of pre-warmed in vitro grow CP medium. Pipette one milliliter of medium from the conical tube to wash the cryovial for excess cells, then pour it back into the conical tube. Gently invert the vial three times to mix the cells evenly. The cells are now ready to use for the Tripan Blue method of cell counting. To learn more about the Tripan Blue exclusion method for cell counting, view the cell counting video located in the protocols and tutorial section under resources at bioivt.com. After cell counting is completed, determine the total cell concentration. The first step in determining cell concentration is to divide the total number of viable cells by the total number of squares counted. In this example, there were eight squares counted. Viable cells per square is then multiplied by 10,000. 10,000 represents the hemocytometer conversion factor for the volume in the chamber. To account for cell dilution, multiply the product of the previous step by 10. The result of these calculations is the total number of viable cells per milliliter. The following procedure determines the total yield of viable cells. These calculations account for the volume that was removed during cell counting, which, in this example, was 100 microliters of the cell suspension. Determine the total yield of viable cells by multiplying the volume of cell suspension by the concentration of viable cells. In this example, 5.9 milliliters of cell suspension remain, and the concentration is 1.5 times 10 to the sixth cells per milliliter. Total cell yield is therefore 8.9 times 10 to the sixth cells, the product of 5.9 milliliters multiplied by 1.5 times 10 to the sixth cells per milliliter. The target cell concentration to be used for plating cryoplatable hepatocytes is 0.7 times 10 to the sixth cells per milliliter. To achieve the target concentration, medium will be added using the following method. First, divide the total cell yield by the target cell concentration. In this example, divide 8.9 times 10 to the sixth cells by 0.7 times 10 to the sixth cells per milliliter for a total resuspension volume of 12.7 milliliters. Now calculate the amount of medium to add by subtracting the total resuspension volume required from the initial suspension volume. In this example, subtract 5.9 milliliters from the 12.7 milliliters for a total of 6.8 milliliters. Therefore, 6.8 milliliters of in vitro grow CP must be added to bring the total volume to 12.7 milliliters. With the medium added, the final cell concentration will now be at 0.7 times 10 to the sixth cells per milliliter. The cells are now ready for plating. In this example, collagen-coated plates are used. The volume for each will depend on the plate format. For example, the target cell concentration recommended for a 96-well plate is 0.5 times 10 to the sixth. 
In this example, a 24 well plate is used. 0.5 milliliters of cells are aliquoted per well. After aliquoting the cells, gently shake the plates in a back and forth and side to side manner to distribute the cells evenly. Avoid circular movement, as this will cause the cells to pool unevenly in the center of the plates. To allow the cells to attach, carefully place the plate in an incubator set to 37 degrees Celsius, 5% carbon dioxide, and saturating humidity. After four hours of incubation, wash the cells with in vitro grow CP medium, then examine the cells under a microscope to confirm they are attached to the medium. Return the plate to the incubator. If you have questions, please contact BioIVT Customer Service.